So I already have a pretty good idea of what controls I'm going to want to include on this car rig. However, before I even go and play a season 3D, it might be a good idea for me to look at some reference. So I've got two videos from YouTube. I'm just going to switch over to my web browser. And in this first video, I'll just press play so you guys can see it. If you want to look at this yourself online, uh, just check the web address and go to where, go to where that's pointing. Um, and what I'm looking for here is just sort of the roll and lean as the car moves. Um, so just as it jumped over a little bit there, it had a bit of motion. Um, under harsh braking right now, you can see that there's not much bounce from the suspension, so it seems pretty solid and rigid and also under cornering it seems pretty solid as well so there's not going to be that much control over the roll and lean for the animator so we can limit that out quite a bit at least for this car um, the other thing that I want to show you is on the other video and again if you want to see this yourself uh, just check this web address and go to it um, this is a uh, drifting Ford Mustang and you can see that even under harsh drifting and really harsh cornering that you know the suspension is pretty solid it doesn't move too much so we, we're actually going to limit the amount of roll and lean quite a bit we might give it a bit more than what we're seeing in these in these videos so the animator's got a bit more control um, but it's not going to be something like um, a non-performance car where there'd be a lot more bounciness and roll and things like that so yeah I mean really now this this car is under very harsh cornering and it still looks really solid I'm sure it's set up for drifting as well um, but it's a, you know we can take a, a good idea of what this car is generally going to be like so let me just close that back down I'm going to keep those open just for reference if I need it when I come back to rigging so let's move over to max and in a second we can start putting in some controllers